Hello everyone and welcome back to Top 10 Trends. The insect world doesn't usually coincide with our world, two kind of separate planes. I always found it weird when certain insects like a praying mantis eat mammals, for instance a mouse. Insects basically invented stingers, except for platypuses, I don't think there are any other mammals with them. And these are 10 particularly nasty stingers, 10 insects you don't want to be stung by. Number 10, the European hornet. The European hornet is the largest wasp in Europe. It's the only true hornet found in North America. It's regarded as a pest by people who come into contact with it. They make nests out of surrounding plant materials and other fibers to create intricate paper hives. The species stings in response to being stepped on or grabbed, but generally avoids conflict. They're hyper defensive of their hive and can be aggressive around food sources. They're carnivorous and they hunt large insects such as beetles, wasps, moths, dragonflies, and mantises. Care should be taken when they're encountered in these circumstances as they may sting without warning. The pain from a sting can persist for several days with swelling. Victims will want to seek medical attention in case of an allergic reaction. European hornets have been observed to steal prey from spiders, which is an example of kleptoparasitism. The behavior was first documented in 2011 against the yellow garden spider. Hornets fly into the spider's web and appear entangled. However, the hornet cut free prey that had been caught in the spider's web. The spider didn't interfere with the hornet as it was stealing its prey. Number 9. The Red Harvester Ant Ant. Poganomrex barbatus is a species of harvester ant more commonly known as the red ant. These large ants are native to the southwestern United States. Their nests are underground in exposed areas. They can be over three meters deep. Their diets consist primarily of seeds and they consequently participate in an ant-plant interaction through which the ants gain nutrients and the plants benefit through seed dispersal. Red harvester ants are often mistaken for fire ants but are not closely related to fire ant species. Red harvester ants are eusocial insects characterized by a high level of cooperation and an organized division of labor. Their worker caste is sterile. With most ant species, reproduction is performed by a mating caste, that is, winged reproductive organs. Harvester ants defend their colonies vigorously against real or perceived threats, whether by large or small animals. They bite ferociously, and their stings are venomous as well as painful. The effect spreads through the lymphatic system, sometimes causing dangerous reactions, especially if you're allergic to their venom. Number eight, the red paper wasp. A largely predatory species they hunt for caterpillar meat to supply their colonies, often supplementing its developing larvae with nectar. The most widely distributed American species of this genus, they colonize multiple combs and last year-round. Emerging from hibernation in the spring, the females found nests built out of plant material, such as dry grass and wood. The female queen exercises absolute dominance over all other females, often using lateral abdominal vibrations and stroking to suppress the aggressive behavior of her nestmates. Visual stimuli can elicit attacks by red paper wasps, which it will fly at the object in alarm, attempting to sting it. An alarmed red paper wasp can release venom into its nest. The odor of venom will prompt alarm responses in its nestmates, lowering the threshold for attack and attracting even more nestmates to the alarm. Through this means of communicating alarm, the colony is able to rise quickly with its sting chambers open to defend its nest against predators. So you piss off one red paper wasp, you've pissed off all of them, and one sting becomes a thousand. Number seven, Metricus paper wasp. This wasp is native to North America. In the United States, it ranges throughout the southern Midwest, the south, and as far northeast as New York. Unique to the Metricus paper wasp, they exit their nest flying in different direction depending on how far their journey is going to be. For short flights, they exit horizontally, and for long flights, they exit the nest flying straight up, going into a cruising altitude before pursuing their direction. They consume soft-bodied prey like caterpillars. They feed their larvae in an act of malixation, which is when an adult wasp grabs an insect, or a piece of an insect, then chews and crushes it with its mandibles while spinning it until it's a pulp. The final product is fed directly to a larvae. I'm glad wasps are small. They'll reuse their nests over multiple seasons, so make sure that if you find one, you either destroy it during the winter or don't go back to that area because they will be there. Also, make sure you don't feed them. When they locate prey, they will return to the same location and search the same sites at the location on future foraging trips. They tend to forage over long distances, so if you're being visited by these paper wasps, their hive probably isn't that close. These wasps can also fly a lot farther than regular wasps because of their massive size. And remember, big wasp equals big sting. Number six, 
the velvet ant. The velvet ant are actually a common family of more than 3,000 species of wasps whose wingless females resemble large hairy ants. They're often bright scarlet or orange, but may also be black, white, silver, or gold. The black and white specimens are sometimes known as panda ants. They are known for their extremely painful stings, hence the name cow killer or cow ant. They're not aggressive, however, and sting only in defense. In addition, the actual toxicity of their venom is much lower than that of honeybees or harvester ants. Unlike true ants, they're solitary, lacking complex social systems. Only the female mutilids, which is their scientific name, are capable of inflicting a sting. The stinger is a modified female organ called an ovipositor, which is unusually long and maneuverable in mutilids. They produce a squeaking or chirping sound when alarmed. That's how you know you're about to get stung, too. Number five, the giant bull ant. The giant bull ant is a species of bulldog ant. They're abundant throughout Eastern Australia. The worst stuff is usually from Australia. One of the largest ant species, they're up to 30 millimeters long in body length. The head and thorax are red brown, while the abdomen is black and the mandibles brown yellow. Adults possess a long, powerful, serrated pair of mandibles and a venom-laced sting capable of causing severe pain for a couple of days. Unlike most ant species, giant red ants lack the ability of chemical senses. However, they're compensated with their extremely keen vision. They can spawn to intruders over two meters away. They're a primitive ant species, regarded to be solitary predators and occasionally uncooperative with each other. Their social behavior is poorly developed in comparison to other advanced species of ants. They're notoriously aggressive hunters, able to subdue formidable prey such as bees and other ants. They are unable to eat solid food, and they feed on juices from the prey insects. Their nests are constructed underground, and their tunnel systems are incredibly extensive. Number four, the Maricopa harvester ant. The Maricopa harvester ant is one of the most common species of harvester ant. It's found in California, Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, Nevada, Texas, and Utah. Its venom is believed to be the most toxic insect venom in the world. The toxicity of the venom of the Maricopa harvester ant is well known. 12 stings can kill a two kilogram rat. In comparison, a honeybee sting is less than 1 20th as strong. In humans, it produces intense pain that can last up to four hours. Like many venomous insects, the venom is made of amino acids, peptides, and proteins. The most notable component found in the venom is an alkaloid poison. It releases an alarm pheromone that chemically alerts other ants in the vicinity. This is an example of chemical signaling, which is why all ants sting at once. Venom can also contain alert allergenic proteins that are otherwise known to set off a potentially lethal immune response in certain victims. Victims. Similar to the two-part process of the fire ant bite and sting, the harvester ant will attach to the victim with its mandibles and so proceed to, by pivoting around the site, allowing the ant to repeatedly sting and inject venom into the region. The Maricopa harvester ant play a major role in decomposition by dragging dead carcasses of insects underground, enriching soil for plants and crops. Number three, the tarantula hawk. A tarantula hawk is a spider wasp that hunts tarantulas. They're a parasitoid wasps, using their sting to paralyze their prey before dragging it to a nest as living food. A single egg is laid on the prey, attaching to a larva which eats the still alive prey. Up to two inches long, making them some of the largest wasps, they have black blue bodies and bright rust colored wings. The vivid coloration found on their bodies and their wings is aspamatic advising to potential predators the wasp's ability to deliver a powerful sting. Their long legs have hooked claws for grappling with their victims. The powerful sting is considered one of the most painful stings in the world. They're relatively docile and rarely sting without provocation. However, the sting is among the most painful of all insects, even though it only lasts about five minutes. One researcher described the pain as immediate, excruciating, unrelenting pain that simply shuts down one ability to do anything except scream. Mental discipline does not work in these situations. In terms of scale, the wasp's sting is rated to the top of the Schmidt Sting Pain Index. Because of their extremely large stingers, very few animals are able to eat them. Many predatory animals avoid these wasps. Aside from an allergic reaction, the sting is not dangerous and does not require medical attention. Local redness appears after the pain and lasts for up to a week. Number two, the bullet ant. Named so for its extremely potent sting, it inhabits humid lowland rainforests from Nicaragua and the extreme east of Honduras. The pain caused by this insect sting is reported to be greater than that of any other insect and is rated the most painful according to the Schmidt Pain Index. According to some victims, it's equal to being shot, hence the name of the insect. Described as causing waves of burning, throbbing, all-consuming pain that continues unabated for 24 hours. Paneurotoxin, the neurotoxin that can be 
isolated from the venom, affects voltage-dependent sodium ion channels and blocks the synaptic transmission in the central nervous system. It's being investigated for possible medical applications because it's so powerful. Some people of Brazil use intentional bullet ant stings as part of their initiation rites to become warriors. The ants are rendered unconscious, then hundreds of them are woven into gloves made of leaves with the stingers facing inwards. When the ants regain consciousness, a boy slips the gloves onto his hands. The goal of this initiation rite is to keep the glove on for a full five minutes. When finished, the boy's hand and his arm will be paralyzed because of the ant venom temporarily, and he may shake uncontrollably for days. Boys must go through the ordeal a total of 20 times over the course of several months or even years. And number one, the warrior wasp. A swarm-founding wasp that is also eusocial, exhibiting complicated nest structure and defense mechanisms, and a colony cycle. They're typically found in areas from Central to South America. It's one of the largest species of paper wasp and exhibit multiple morphological adaptations, and as a result of this, is they have an incredibly painful sting. Out of four points on the star pain scale, they received a four, a rating which few other species ever achieve. A four out of four on this scale means that the sting is traumatically painful, often requiring some medical attention. It's also a venomous species, and in mice, its sting results in a concentration of three milligrams per venom per kilogram of body weight. That's a ton of venom for a mouse. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and then you know what to stay away from when it comes to stings. If you liked the video, please give it a like down below. And if you want to see more content, please subscribe. I hope you guys are having a sting-free day. Bye-bye. Yes, I mean the musician.